Today is Tuesday, February 17th, 2015. The East Coast can't catch a break when it comes to weather. I'm Zoe Tuttle. And I'm Tori King. The other high schools will lose their broadband on Sunday, but we are going to be okay. Your CSN News starts now. We may be experiencing the warmest February on record, but the East Coast is again getting snow and frigid temperatures. In Boston, over 100 inches of snow has fallen in the last three weeks. More snow is expected today. To make things worse, any snow that was melting has frozen solid with wind chills well below zero. Mass transit systems are running at reduced rates and schools and federal offices remain closed in many areas. On the bright side, our temperatures are expected to be almost 60 degrees in the next few days. State legislative leaders are telling school officials they will have to come up with their own plans for broadband internet access. After the state's $60 million contract that provided broadband access to high schools was voided, Senate President Pro Term Bent Hill told nearly 200 Idaho public school trustees Monday that the state's broadband project will go dark February 22nd. This means districts will need to implement their own emergency plan immediately if they want broadband access for the rest of the year. Luckily for us, the district doesn't expect problems when the broadband state goes away. That's because the overwhelming majority of the district's broadband services come from a private vendor. A woman with a rare disease has been spontaneously cured in an event improbable. Doctors say it is a medical equivalency of a lottery win. The woman is in her 50s and she is not being named, but she was plagued with warts and infections as part of wind syndrome caused by a defective immune system. But doctors say a fluke DNA mutation, reported in the journal Cell, effectively cured her in her 30s. One doctor said the odds of that happening were astronomically low. Patients with WIM syndrome have a defective defect in a cell section of their DNA that makes them extremely vulnerable to infection. We'll be right back after this. CSN Broadcasting adopted a shark, a mature, great, white female named Lydia, who measures 14 feet, 6 inches, and approximately 2,000 pounds. Since she was tagged in Florida, she's traveled around 32,000 miles. She treks all over the East Coast and Mid-Atlantic. Most of her time is spent off the southern coast of Newfoundland. Lydia last surfaced February 17th, 5.48, headed towards Bermuda, having traveled 360 miles in 72 hours. You can track Lydia's movement and progress on osarch.org. Check out her profile, viewer pictures, and videos, and experience the life of a shark. Today's weather is brought to you by Dr. Kim Keller. Smile's your first impression. Make it a great one and visit Dr. Keller today. Today's high is 55 with a low of 28, mostly sunny. Tomorrow's high is 57 with a low of 34, mostly sunny. The audition schedule for the NHS talent show are posted outside the Little Theater and auditions will be held today from 3 to 5 in the Little Theater. Thursday through Saturday, we are hosting the State 1A Girls Basketball Tournament. As we will have a lot of guests coming in, like every year, the gym parking lot is closed for basketball. So if you park in the gym lot, please park out in the back lots for the next two days. Thank you for, so much for your help and cooperation. The Team Outreach Program is doing a donation drive for the St. Luke's Children's Hospital. Please bring your used books or board games and spare change to room 101 any day or at the front office on B-Days by the end of the day. All donations will be going towards the Children's Hospital for a more enjoyable stay and are greatly appreciated. Nampa High School welcomes Crime Stoppers of Southwest Idaho. Crime Stoppers is an anonymous tip line dedicated to catching criminals who victimize the innocent. If you have any information about crime, call 343-COPS. You can also report your tip online at www.343cops.com. Whether you call or use the online service, you will re remain anonymous and you could be eligible for a cash reward up to $1,000. Help solve a crime and be a crime stopper. The school is organizing a club to look at how we treat each other and how we can <clears throat> communicate our boundaries more clearly to avoid sexual harassment, offensive behaviors, and more. You can help share a better school at Nampa High School as well as the club. And if you weren't doing enough, you can make money. Prizes to teams will range from $300 to $1,000 for the plans they developed to make our school and all Idaho schools safer for everyone. Meetings will be held in room 126 on Tuesdays immediately after school starting next Tuesday, February 24th. After school, see Mrs. Wright Romero or Ms. Weisley if you are interested in joining us. Columbia High School is hosting an NCAA presentation on Monday, March 2nd from 6 to 8 p.m. in their library. 
All student athletes and their parents who are interested in pursuing collegiate athletics are invited to attend. Matt Stewart, as Assistant Athletic Director for Academics at Idaho State University, and his team will talk about general NCAA eligibility requirements and answer questions. So mark it down and plan on being their athletes. Today's SAT word of the day is Zephyr, which means a gentle breeze. You can use it this way. The Zephyr entering the school smelled like fresh baked cookies. That's your news. We'll see you right here again tomorrow on the Bulldog Edition.